Hey guys, it's us, and this week it is Sexual Health Week at uni, so we thought we would dive headfirst into the issue and tell you how you can maintain a healthy sexual life, as well as covering the more awkward topics of getting checkups and where to go. Indeed, sexual health has always been a bit of an awkward topic to talk about. Of course, we all remember sex ed in high school. Then again, all I remember is condoms and bananas. <laughs> But let's use this as a refresher course to get back into some good habits regarding our sexual health. Let's do it. Our sexual health is directly related to the choices we make. As we all know, sex is a mutually consensual act. So a yes means yes, a maybe means no, and a no means definitely not. Never feel pressured or uncomfortable in any situation. Secondly, using protection is becoming a less frequented act between young people, yet it should be the first thing you think about when engaging in intercourse. That's right, protection might take a few extra seconds, but it will save you a lot of hassle in the long run. According to studies, Newcastle has now become the leading city of Australia with the highest rates of chlamydia per capita. Now, if that's not some scary news for us folks, I don't know what is. <laughs> But remember guys, if you think they're spunky, cover your monkey. Now, sexually transmitted infections or STIs are not a hot topic to discuss amongst friends. Many people get very nervous or self-conscious talking about their health with external people. However, if you are sexually active, it is recommended that you go and get regular checkups to make sure you are safe and clear. Places you can do this are New South Wales Family Planning on Hunter Street in town, which do free checkups every Tuesday after 12 p.m. If you don't feel comfortable going by yourself, take a close friend with you. If you don't feel comfortable talking to a stranger, go and talk to your local GP or come to the health service here on campus, which incidentally bulk bills. Checkups are completely confidential, so you don't have to worry about anyone knowing that you went. Checkups include a few simple questions about your sexual activity, as well as a urine sample. So it's nothing too extreme really. But if you want to avoid all that hassle, don't be silly and wrap your willy. Are you ready for your checkup, madam? Uh, I thought it was just a couple of questions. Ooh, ooh, I'm terribly so sorry. I've got, I think I've got the wrong file. Sorry, I'll, I'll come back. Okay. Although it may not seem like much of an issue now, STIs can cause some long-term effects in both men and women, including impacting upon fertility and various cancers. With us all being young, independent individuals, we need to take our health into our own hands and make sure we are in tip-top shape. Now here's the awkward part. What to do if you have contracted an STI and have to alert your sexual partner? First of all, it's not the end of the world. There's heaps of medication and treatments that will rid you of STIs and get you back on track. Telling your partner shouldn't be too embarrassing if you talk it over as adults. There is also an option for family planning to contact your sexual partner if you don't feel comfortable enough delivering the news yourself. The most important thing to remember is to make the other person feel comfortable and calm. If the roles are reversed and you have unfortunately contracted an STI from someone, then it is the exact same procedure. Your health comes first and foremost, but then sit the other person down and talk like mature adults to figure out what your next move is. Your friends and family are a great support network, so don't feel ashamed or reluctant to talk to them about it. Who knows, they might have gone through the same situation and have some awesome advice to offer. For example, we all know that no glove means no love. Well, that's all we have for you guys this week. Hopefully you've been able to take some helpful advice from this and remember that managing your sexual health is easy and the responsible thing to do. And also remember guys that sexual health affects everyone, so don't feel ashamed to talk about it. Most of all boys, if you can't shield your rocket, keep it in your pocket. I'm Jackson. And I'm Sam. And, and you're, you're watching, watching Yak TV. Blowing in, blowing. Blowing in the wind. Be wrong. <laughs> you need to talk to them. Talk to them. <laughs> wow.